the source of the of the I has not been questioned. What I, what me, the contents of thinking is very important. So I believe in, let's say, a spiritual concept that there is life after death, or I had this past life, or I believe that if I concentrate of anything, it will manifest for me. I have the power of manifestation. I believe that I'm, I can create my own reality. I believe that my words are going to get manifested. So if I say these kind of, if I say, oh, I'm feeling a little bit sick, I'm going to come, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. So if I keep saying this, then I'm going to come down with a cold. That's, for example, my belief system. So I should not say I'm coming down with a cold. I should say I'm fine. Okay? So it's a belief system. But now I'm not saying I don't care what the belief system is. Maybe it's a beautiful belief system. Maybe it's not. It's, maybe it's very holy or maybe it's not. So the content of the story is irrelevant. I'm, not, I'm saying do not focus on the content, on the story, on the belief system. Go, go in and see to whom does it matter. Who is this person who gives it importance? And you come back to one thing. You come to I, to me. Your sense of identification. You go back into this idea that you are someone, you're a person, naturally, separated from everything else. And rightfully, you have the right to feel that way because your experience is separation. Your experience, you're separated from everything else. This is what you've been experiencing from age two. From where your, your ego came in and you began to feel that you're an individual, you are a person, one person, separated from everything else. Therefore, you need to look after yourself and the world out there is hostile and it's out there to get you and it's you against everything else and it's you later on that needs to come to God realization and become one with God. That's your experience and I understand that. I understand what you're experiencing. I've been there, done that gone through it, but I'm sharing with you, this is only a notion. It's a false notion. It's not real. So you need to go beyond that. So if this me, this sense of me being separated from everything, okay, if it's not real, so what is real? If Zarathustra, if you're sitting there and you say, you know what, Zarathustra is my teacher, and I trust him, and I've been with him for a few years, I don't exactly understand everything he says, but I just trust. Okay, so if you trust me and you believe what I'm saying, then... Take a moment every day, try that. Get this in your routine life and start challenging the I, you, me, yourself. Challenge that part of yourself. You can ask this question when you say, 
okay, I believe that existence works in this way. Okay, so I had a vision or I had an insight. I came to this realization, but everything starts with I. I came to this realization. I had these visions. I have gone through this transformation. So you're always referring to I, to yourself. So now I want you to examine this me, this I that you're referring to. And I know for some of you it's very scary because you're going to have to challenge your notion of existence. And that's very frightening. The mind will freak out. The mind is going to come and bring you all kinds of excuses. All kinds of stuff is going to come for you. Oh, this is bullshit. This is waste of my time. Oh, this cannot be it. Blah, 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 blah. Because you are challenging the very existence of a false entity, something that doesn't really exist. It's not real. It's imaginary. What's imaginary is your notion, your sense of separation, that you're separated. Where you've never been separated. You're completely a part of everything. Everything is you. It's never, you've never been separated from everything that exists in, in universe. That's what you are. So if you are a part of everything, then there is no you. It's only everything. The sense that you, it's only a sense. It's a feeling that you are separated from it, but that feeling is not real. It's a false identification. Until you're diverted to go examine this I. Who am I? You can ask this question. Who am I? To whom these thoughts and these ideas appear? These are great ideas. You get all these wonderful spiritual ideas. But to whom do they appear? And then your answer is to me. Okay, then who is this me? Examine that one. 